Hello and welcome to another video of this Power BI Do It Yourself tutorials. In this video, we are going to see how to implement a practical project. So, we are going to consider a use case for a retail store and we will see how we can use Power BI to solve their analytical need, data modeling, data integration, data cleansing needs and prepare an analytical solution to help this retail store. So in this project we are going to assume a retail store BDCS which is Bharti DW Consultancy Services Retail. BDCS Retail which sells products online on a website as well as in store like you can go in store with different stores around the country and you can buy products assuming that this is an this is an assumption this is a hypothetical company where it's a retail business as a power bi consultant you have to understand where the data is going to come from so for this store you analyze that there are two separate applications capturing its sales, sales data. So for sales, let's see what are those two data sources. So application one, which is an online e-commerce platform, data for which is available in MS Access file. You can change this idea of the project and have an Oracle or a SQL server or a DB2, any RDBMS would work. But in this case, so that these files can be shared easily, I'm going to choose MS Access file. This is the Google Drive location in which you can file, find these files. So an MS Access file, which is going to give us details on the sales from the e-commerce, which is the online platform. Application 2 is used to collect data for in-store sales. That means somebody going into the store, moving around physically without being online and like moving around, getting the store, I mean getting the products and checking out from the store. This is available in flat files. Again, these files are available on this Google Drive link here. So these are the files which you can download from the Google Drive link. This sales DB new is your application one, which is an e-commerce platform and a set of these flat files, which is app two, app two, app two, application two is for in-store sales. So please download this file from the Google Drive link displayed here and it is also mentioned in the description section of the video below. Now let's do understand this project and how to prepare for a project. Please note that we are not going to talk about design documents here but I would strongly recommend you to create a design document which is prepared for a doing a project. In the design document what you're gonna write is and this is for you to do yourself is to understand the data. So open this MDB file, which I'm gonna do it in the next video. Open the MDB file, which is Microsoft Access file. Understand the tables, understand the join conditions and relationships. And obviously I'm gonna discuss that as well in, in, in the next video. And create a design document in terms of what are the tables? What is the type of data available in those tables and stuff like that? Or you can also use any template which you have for your existing project, maybe Tableau, Cognos, MicroStrategy, Business Objects, you name it. So bring any design document. If you don't have it, let me know and I'll be happy to share with you one. Having said that, let's go to the next step. So the requirement is to be able to merge this data 
And please note that we are not going to use any ETL tool or any database for common repository access. We are going to use Power BI to integrate the data and understand the business problem and understand what business analysts want to find out from this. A very important step in doing any project, BI related project, irrespective of Power BI, Tableau, ClickSense, Cognos or whatever it is, you have to understand the data and understand the business requirement. Understand what is the question or what are the set of questions which the business is trying to answer from the data. Let's understand the data. Uh, to understand the data, I'm going to read the data in my Power BI or if you have MS Access in your system, you can still do that. I'm going to use the sales DB new and I don't have MS Access Office installed in my system for some reason. I am going to use Power BI. However, if you have in your system, please open the file directly. In order to get the file, you have to go to get data and in this options, you would see MS Access. and navigate to the file and click on open. These are the tables available in the MDB file. There are total eight tables available. We are going to, let's look at customer type category. It's a table with customer type, the customer. So this is customer table, which is customer master data prod which is product master data, sale type, this is domestic or international, stat which is status, A is active, I is inactive with a status ID and code, F sales it gives you a sales information, so customer ID, product ID, it's a fact table, F is fact, D is dis, uh, dimension and F shipment. So there are so many two fact tables, a set of dimension tables, even this is a dimension table, but it forms a snowflake. So we're going to talk about that later. So this is the set of tables. You have it in e-commerce application. Now let's take a look at the files, the F sales. This is the file coming in from the in-store, which has its own set of columns. And then you have dprod app2, which is the product. And please note that the products are different. So if you look at the product ID here versus the product ID here, they are different. So they may be different set of products sold online and in store. All right. Moving on to the next one, you have the customer app2. And please, all you have to do in this part of video is to familiarize yourself with data and see how is important it is for you to understand the data, understand the concept, understand what is data providing it to you. So let's do the hands-on exercises. All you have to do as part of hands-on DIY 15 is to be able to download this file and understand the data which I just showed it to you. In the next video, we are going to show you how you can bring the data together, massage it, cleanse it, and use it for your analytical solution. It's a project. It's a project which we have done at a client side, and I'm going to take a very small part of it and show it to you, demo it to you, how you can learn Power BI practically. Thank you for watching.